Up, what's this? Oh. Hey, see that weird thing that just surfaced, Riz? It's called a sea trap, and we're headed right for it! We can't attack it, so we have only one option. Make the ship jump over it! Tap the jump arrow at the screen's bottom to jump, but only at the right time! Jump! Good, woohoo! We did it! I am the best. Okay. Well, I figured that was significant enough. But yeah, like, we can't go north because there's a tornado! And even though the map has a gap in it, there apparently isn't one! I guess that's where we make the gap, but... Mm, all these having to do little side mission things. So maybe there's not ship combat so much as there's just we need the cannon to open up pathways. I don't know. It gives us one other thing we have to do. It ex increases the game like that long, or that much longer, so... May as well. Hey, do we get mail this time? Let's talk to the mail dude. Hey, nice to meet ya! And not like I don't want to greet ya, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Oh. Okay, not talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. Good. And your name is? Got it right here. Or isn't it Riz? Yeah, who? How, how do you know my name? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So, I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks! On that note, see you around the sea, sir. Who? What are you? Why do you have wings? I mean, I guess, you know, we encountered the people who had wings in Wind Waker, but they didn't look like him. They looked like bird people. Good day to you! What do you have for delivery? Nothing again, but I want to see if he had something for me. I guess not, he would have just given it to me. Edo's garage. Well, let's head into his garage then and see if he has a cannon for us. Probably have to do a favor for him to get it because we can't afford it. Hello there! You've come to Edo's garage. That is Master Edo's shop. I'm Fuzo, his apprentice. And you? Oh, nice to meet you, Riz. What? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell. Not yet. Master's working on one, though, so he's withdrawn to his workroom. Yep, he's gone and locked himself in there until he's done concentrating. If you really, really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door's never locked, so that's your ticket to meet the master. I'll be happy to open the gate that leads to the rest of the island. Follow me. Can't I just hop this fence? Look, it's like it's not barbed. I'm taller than it, clearly. There's one wooden post. Darn you, game mechanics. Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Let's see. Watch yourself, little guy. There are monsters beyond this gate. No one cares for my safety. They say be careful. But I am a kid, and they're just like, Well, monsters, just so you know. Alright. Ah, no, I wanted to read the sign. If it just says, like, beware of water... Where be a fortune amid the beehives? Oh no, I don't like bees. I'm dizzy, but it was worth it. Okay, I just wanna. I don't wanna. All I wanna do is roll into it. Roll into it. Tapping it just makes me do that. I'm doing little circles. Does not make it? Scribbling. And it says, like, do it on the edge of the screen, but then I go into the water. Bloody heck. I'm going to die now because of <laughs> trying to get stupid... B thing. Okay, let's just get hearts from here, maybe? One heart? Nope, none. No hearts. What do you have to say, sign? <laughs> Bomb garden. That's an odd thing to have, but okay. Just gotta be careful. Kill a monster, get the heart from him, and then I won't die. I died. I died to a rat, everybody. What am I? A noob on RuneScape? Okay. Let's head right back in. I'm gonna use the boomerang here. Can I really not go far? Oh no, I did hit him. It just didn't like lock on. All right, it usually doesn't with enemies. Never mind. That was easier. 
Okay, well, let's pick up a bomb. Set it down there. Just let that do its thing. Once that does its thing, we can carry on. What are you? Nothing. Okay. Oh, I need to carry a bomb all the way out here? What if it explodes? Okay, let's try it. Ah! Good, okay. So, I'm learning. <gasps> you got a power gem! Awesome, it radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Store it in the collection screen for now. Okay, so that's for Leaf, because it was red. I mean, I assume they're all color-coded. I don't know what I could really do with this, though. Because tapping on this doesn't do anything. And what about tapping on this? And you can't push it because there's a rock on the way. I can't pull it because there's a thing directly behind me. What if... Can I throw this over the fence by chance? I can. Okay. Then I know how to do this. Right there. Right there. I just hold the arrow. Yes. Now you... Um... Uh oh Wait, hold on. Let me go and pull this one down, actually. Dang it. Dang it, there's that rock in the way. Okay, no, hold on. Hold on, let's actually pull you this way. Okay, now... We can pull you up one. And then I should be good to move on. Yeah. We did it. We figured it out. We're fine. Now we got a rush of bomb planned over here. Go, 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 go! Now! Well, we did it. We just got hurt in the process because I was watching this computer screen instead of my game screen. Uh, it is a lot easier to work off of the screen. Ow! Off the game screen. So that's, that's a positive for the controls and everything. No! No! I meant to click on the rat! Don't go all the way back in. Okay, I'm watching this. One down. There we go. Okay. I figured blowing up the bombs wasn't actually hurting me. So... Just wasn't too concerned. Just blowing up the pathways in the meantime. Don't know if I... Hey! Blow up. Don't know if I'll actually need these, but might as well have them open, right? Maybe I could get a heart from one of these. So let's get this. Well, we got a chest at least. That's good. What are you? Yes, Red Ruby. Okay. I'm assuming at some point soon, since we're having like all these bomb plants introduced, that I'll get a bomb bag. Because it does make sense, you know, making you experiment with bomb plants. Before you actually get, you know, the portable ones. Blow up. Thank you. He wasn't kidding when he said this pathway is dangerous. Like bomb plants everywhere, monsters. This place is crazy. Ha! Eat that! Okay, that was fun. I'm anything this way. Well, I don't have to, like, run a bomb this way is what I meant. I may as well see what's over here. We'll gladly take those hearts. Is this a thing? Oh, there's just another rock, okay. Saw something white. Got curious, you know. And here. Ah! Oh no! What's this say? Edo's Garage. Oh, cool. I think I'm heading the right way. Oh. Dang it, I think I need bomb plants, just throw them over the fence there. In order to actually get in. Glad I got that wooden shield. It is helpful. Okay, so we do need to just run with bombs, don't I? I don't think I could run that far, though. Hey! Ah, yeah, no. I don't think I could do that. So... How do I do this part? Because I can't pick them up from here. And using my boomerang just like... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. And using my boomerang just blows them up on impact, so that's not how you do it. 
I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna worry about this bee treasure thing. I can do that later. Right now, I'd rather just avoid them and get inside. Bees are mean. Why are they attacking me? Avoid everything. I don't need to mess with you. Do I have to do this stupid puzzle all over again? Apparently so. Okay, all because I fell down. I mean, I didn't open up a pathway, did I, for myself? I don't think I did. Maybe? Well, I'm just gonna do this real quick anyway. It's annoying, but it's not like that terribly time consuming. Okay, here, here. Hearts? Nope, rupees. Okay. Fair enough. I'll take rupees. I don't mind money. I mean, I want to make sure that I don't die, but... Uh, dangers of fighting in a bomb field. Okay, good. I got a heart back. Nothing from you. May as well throw you guys again. Okay, there. There. Okay. Now I have to figure out this whole part. Oh, wrong way. Because it's not... It doesn't seem very possible. I actually don't want to... That's not what I meant. I was trying to, like, pull back the boomerang at that point. Like I was going to leave that field. Okay, how, how do I want to do this? Let's go and look at it again. And try to be careful not to jump off the edge this time. There's nothing over here. I feel like that place was blocked off like right here by rocks for a reason. I mean, not that it's hard to like clear that up, but why would they go through the trouble of blocking it off if it wasn't useful in some way, right? So let's see what we can do. How do we even get past this fence? If I could get, if I could get past that, that would be good, but... I don't see how yet. Well... Yeah, because I don't have a bomb bag. Maybe in that chest is the bomb bag. I don't know. Alright, let's try to specifically figure out... Crap, was that by the bees? Did I just miss it because I was running away from bees? Just thinking about that now, it's... Why did you pick that up? Why did you pick that up? I was just running! That's okay. I think I'm gonna have to go check by the bees then. Let's go see. Let's go see. Yep. So maybe it meant just like... Oh, I got a treasure map. Maybe it did just mean, you know, go check the place out for treasure instead of like, go roll into a tree for treasure. You got a treasure map! It shows where treasure lies at the bottom of the sea. Because yeah, treasure, bees... That makes sense. However, since I didn't have a bomb bag or anything, I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do as far as progress goes. Because how do I get past those three? Doesn't seem like I can carry a bomb that quickly. And again, Boomerang doesn't carry the bombs to me. It just... It just blows them up. So this is quite annoying. I guess I will try a little bit more on my own, and I will skip back to you guys soonish, hopefully? Yeah, let's let's try for that. Okay, this is my best idea right now. And... <laughs> oh, well, we got one of them. Yeah, it gives us the ding sound, but we still can't make it through because they're too positioned perfectly to block us. But that should be how you do it. That's just the closest way that I've been able to find. Like, the closest pathway. And it does seem to be the way to do it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now that those are finally gone, so it wasn't some puzzle really. I just had to find the shortest pathway to it. Okay. Um, well, now I just jump down, right? No, I don't. No, I don't. I was, I was supposed to just keep going. Let's go through that cave. One, no, let's go through the cave one more time, everybody. Okay, we're back. Made it to this pathway again. Yay, we're here! They have a very bad system of that, like... Really, does he... Does he travel along the pathway with the monsters and the stones every time and he just gets over that? Supposedly with a broken arm? Is that what I'm seeing here? I don't know. 
Yes, yes, I'm the owner of this shop. Edo, what do you want? What? You demand a cannon? Heh, <laughs> you impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons. For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then know that my cannons are works of explosive art, crafted from choice parts. So you'd better believe that you're going to cough up big rupees for one. Have the guts to hear how much? Um, yes? Heh <laughs> don't blame me if you drop a load of rupees in my shop. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guy. I'm serious. I'm gonna say it. It's going for the steep price of 50 rupees. You big enough to pony up 50 whole rupees? Stunned? Yeah, did you think you were dealing with small potatoes here, huh? I mean, 50 rupees would buy you a whole lot of good life on this aisle. Would it really? No one could blame you if you can't pay, buy it? Yes. What? Where'd you get 50 rupees? Doesn't matter, I guess. Just as long as you cough up the cash. Okay, take it. You got the cannon. This part from Edo fits on the deck of your ship. Good. Next, I'm gonna devise a salvage arm that can pull treasure from the seafloor. See you later, Shrimp. Just use that door there to get back to the dock. What? What door? What, this door? This door? Couldn't he just- could I have- couldn't I have just knocked? Maybe? I guess, like, he was impressed because I went through, but I'm pretty sure he would have still sold it to me. Hey, look, this is shaking. I must have mail. Special delivery! Watch out incoming! Okay. Hey, it's you again. What's up, dude? This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Riz. From the postmaster? Ahem. Here's what it says. I got- I got mail, guys. To Riz. If you're getting this, I guess that my new postman is working out. So far. So I'd like to make an unusual request. He's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints. I want to keep it that way. So be nice to the postman. He really is a good kid. From the postmaster. And that's it. Well, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read it out loud. Anyway, sign here, will ya? There we go. Good! That wraps it up. See you later! I didn't sign it, guys. That wasn't my name. I said Padoof. Okay, well. Let's just talk to him, I guess. Let's see. So, you got a cannon? Looks like I finished my napper. Repairs just in time! You ready to ship out, Riz? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, alright, I guess we're gonna just head back to that wall, that gap in the wall on the map, and then we'll use the cannon there. I assume that's how it's gonna work. Let's see, so... I like a beetle moved. So I just want to go to that spot for now. Actually, can I save real quick? Yeah. Now that we have a big cannon, I'd better show you how to handle that thing. Just tap anything you see, and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast with it, kid. Yeah, I will save real quick. Because my battery is red, I don't plan on going too much longer for this video. But just in case, I'd rather not lose any of that progress. It's not what I meant, I'm sorry. I guess it doesn't matter, I have a cannon now. Up! Oh! Darn. Ouch! Just a scratch, right? So I could destroy half of it at least. I thought he said I could. Eh, I don't know. Well... I guess again, let's just... Oh no, no, we're actually, we're gonna reach the wall soon, where I'm gonna hopefully blast it. So I will let you guys watch that. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Enemy sighted! I know there would be enemies. Alright, I mean, I guess... Makes sense, because again, cannon, but... Ah! Enemy sighted. You're dead. Well, let's go the route then. Go up that way. So I'm pretty sure that we're fine as far as the obstacles are concerned. Oh yeah, I can't destroy those ones. It was only those particular brown rocks. So I was right to look for the gap. Enemy sighted. The hang on a moment, Riz. Look. C could that be the... I mean, it could be. I don't want to jump to conclusions or anything, but... It has surfaced at last! The ghost ship! I can't believe that we're laying eyes on it! 
Let's follow it. Let's go get our treasure. Okay, one enemy down. I mean, I'm following it so far just because we happen to be heading the right way. Or the same way. Or is it not a coincidence after all? We are too slow. Huh? The fog is thickening! Be careful now, Riz! The fog is maddening! I can't even see my hand in front of my face, I assume is what he said. Don't let it escape, Riz! Oh, too late I did. Oh wait, no I didn't, apparently. Let's go after it then. This is intense. Go scuttle that blasted thing, pronto! Ah, that treasure's right in front of our noses! I get enemy sighted. Ow! Oh, I thought I blew it up already. Die! And then the music starts right back up. Okay, okay, draw to the ghost ship. Go! Enemy sighted! From where? Ow, oh, there it is! That was almost really bad. There's the ghost ship. I see it right there. Right, I forgot it drew circles. You just head straight out now. Okay, stop it, actually. Just head that way. So that's where the ghost ship was. It's being so mean right now. I see it straight in front of me, you know. Enemy sighted. Good, it's just another stupid little thing, isn't it? There. Ugh. Things can be hard to hit. To the ghost ship. Go! Keep us on course, Riz. Yeah, I would if I could just control using the D-pad! But I can't, so... Okay... Because it's right bloody there. Can I zoom in on this map? It would help if I could zoom in on this map. It's right there. Okay, so I can't attack it. I'm just going to assume that I can't attack it. Attacking it is not a thing. I'm just gonna head up, because I think it's just gonna run away from us the entire time. All right, we're gonna die. Okay, yeah, see, it's just, it's going with us, it's just teasing us, I don't think it's a matter of actually stopping it. You and your two health. Great, I have one heart left on this little ship. Yes, it is really annoying. So are you. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. And it's gone. And we're back where we started? With a flaming ship now? What? What happened? We were chugging along, making headway there. Bah. You think maybe? Could it be the influence of the ghost ship? No, what did I hear about that? Oh yeah! It's always surrounded by infernal fog. And that fog leads ships horribly astray. I think it's best that we beat a hasty retreat, Riz. Maybe someone on one of the nearby islands knows the way through this fog. No, it didn't. It didn't make us go off course. It just completely teleported us. I know, because I have a course map, and I'm being careful with it. And now I'm of low health and probably going to die. This is a... I don't know. I find this part annoying. I don't care if it's just to introduce the fact that we need something to deal with the fog. Uh, okay, let's go. I mean, I'm just hoping we don't run into any more enemies. 
Because, uh, otherwise, yeah, we're probably going to get another game over here. I'd rather not do that, you know? I'd rather not have another game over. And instead, let's just get to the island safely. Once we get there, we can save. And we could most likely call it once dialogue's over. You're not... You're not... I'm going to the most... I'm going to the most nearby island that I can. There's no point in flailing with blindness of battle. Okay. There's an enemy. Where is the enemy? There's the... En nope. That didn't work out too well, did it? No, it did not. Game over. Let's just see where we are when we continue, because I genuinely don't know. Okay, I'm back on the ship. Uh, you know, my battery's actually flashing now. Just looking at it, let's see if you can see. See it flashing? Yeah. So, it's not only due to my frustration that we're calling it here, it's also due to this. So, with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!